When you talk about community health, you are thinking about health and wellness in a much broader social context. So in our community health work, we're thinking about kind of what programs, what policies, what advocacy do we need to do so that all our patients and family have equal access to um, health care and equal opportunity to health and wellness. Community health is really essential to any, um, any hospital, any healthcare center, and partly because there is more and more evidence coming out that the context of your life is actually the thing that's going to impact your health. So we always think about health, people think about their family history, or they think about individual health behaviors like do you smoke, do you exercise? But what we're finding is that the context in which you live, the community in which you live, these are the things that are going to more impact your health and wellness. And we call these the social determinants of health. So part of our job here at Mass General is to assess for the social determinants of health. So I think that when patients come to their midwife or doctor appointment, most people are not used to being asked about questions about what's your housing situation? Um, do you have food in the house? But those are actually really important questions. And I've been really, really excited in our OBGYN department. Last year, we started universal screening for the social determinants of health. So when women come for their first obstetric appointment, they're all handed um, a one-page sheet. It's got about eight questions on it, asking them about things like housing, transportation, can they pay for their utilities this month? And with that, we've created a lot of resources and a lot of referrals so that if we get a positive screen, if someone says, actually, yeah, I'm having a hard time with my heat bill, we know where to go to really support that person or support that family. My hope and goal is that we become a real center of excellence for this and that people know they can come to us with these issues and we, we are going to respond to get them the services or get them the extra support they need to have healthy pregnancies and to really sort of live full and healthy lives that they would like to be living.